how-to is how to sharpen your lawnmower blades. I am in no way a professional at this. This is just the way I've been taught. So if I'm doing it wrong, maybe somebody might want to correct me, but uh, this is the way I do it, and this is the way I've been taught. So what I've done here is I've just parked it on some car ramps that I have, just to give me enough room to get underneath and take the blades off. Before getting started, if the nuts are really rusted, I just suggest putting penetrating oil on there. These look pretty good, so... Hopefully you can get a good view of what I'm doing under here. Anyway, I'm just going to take the blade off. And I've got myself a short little pry bar. And in order to get it loose, I find a bolt underneath there to prop it up against so that when I go to break it loose the blade isn't, isn't going to turn with. I'm going to get my wrench on there and there she goes. It's cracked loose. These aren't on there too terribly tight which they shouldn't be anyway. So once you get it cracked loose and then you can just hold it by, your, by hand and And when you pull it down, just make sure you keep an eye on uh, your parts and what order that they came off in. Make sure you hang on to it so that you know how everything goes back in place. So now I'm going to just go ahead and take off the other two blades. So I've just clamped that into my vise and uh, got the angled part of the blade facing upward right here and I'm gonna get my grinder I prefer to use these earmuffs and safety goggles Try not to grind off too much because you want to try and keep the weight even on both sides of the blade. And just follow the original contour as best as you can. Once you feel that the sharp or the flat edge is gone off of it, then uh, you can go to the other side. And make sure you're not facing at anything flammable. So for, you'll still have a bit of an edge on the flat side here. So what I usually do is I turn the blade side up and just very lightly go over this edge here, uh, making a little bit of a bevel in the top to make a sharp. You should be able to feel the sharpness on that blade. Just turn it around, do the other side the same. So 
So before you put your blades back on the lawnmower, you're going to have to make sure that they're balanced in order to prevent any vibrations on the mower deck. And how do I do this? Take a coat hanger, straight across from this part here, pull it straight out, and make it into a shape something like this. And what I did is I took the bottom here and I made a little bit of a flat spot on it. Take this, hang it up on a nail. Now you're going to want this turned forward, but if you have to twist it a little bit, take your more blade. So try and center the blade on the hanger and if one side or the other hangs down then that means the one side is too heavy and you need to take some of the excess material off of there by grinding it down a little bit more. Uh, this little bit that this side is hanging down isn't going to make much difference but if it really tends to pull down on one side then you need to grind some of it off. If you get your blade too far out of balance, you're going to create a huge shake. So it's time to put the blades back on and if you were paying attention, then you'll remember exactly how to put these back on. Um, the bevel goes downward on the blade. So on this particular blade, I kept track of the dust cover and it goes on with this side facing up. And of course, flat washer, another washer, and the nut. That's how it came off. Hope you were paying attention at the start. And putting the blade back on, I just use the same tools that I used to take it off. Only in reverse. Anyway, did a really nice job.